Were you born in Chanwen? Eh, I like it. It's very nice. And it's like in a, still in a good condition, Gapagat. And as long as modding in this sound is a I always know life. Are we cool? Iki, if you got Baku sexy. Yo, I wonder if I was Bao. Come, click, come, seven, zin, vroom. Okay. 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 Ila namba pa e pa go website yake. I don't want to go to the sun because it's actually 31 degrees today and the Bombay umbrella and I have my son's car seat in my hand because um, my partner is actually pushing him on the stroller I know the man is on the because we can kind of like walking on the main road um, we are walking from Ostervik. Okay, the lighting is bad. At least it's better. We're walking from Ostervik to uh, Udenhout, and we are going to fetch our car. <laughs> Guys, God is amazing. The last clip, or not the last clip, but the previous clip. I think Iboni says see we shall amoto, right? Yeah, we went car viewing, car shopping. Um, yeah, so we liked the car and we decided to go with it. So, yeah, see you in Um, I won't say much in this clip because when we get to a quieter place, I'll speak properly. But I'm so excited. This is a walk. This is a walk. It's a long walk to freedom. Literally. <laughs> This is the road that my partner and son travel on every day when they cycle to work and when he takes our son to daycare. Like we're not even close to arriving where we're going. I think we've walked probably a kilometer already. I think so, yeah. So Sesaya. We literally let me stop walking and show you guys. Go see good day guys. Sesaya pa good day. So yeah. You can actually see me because I think the sun is facing this way, but so which is why I can't really vlog or talk too much. But yeah, this is me walking at Udenhout. It's such a beautiful place, hey. Imagine you um to fungi a cyclist shilling on Dan Kubegunet Zippy's guess an injured as a lap. A pity sail. Water break. Es 
I'm going to say right. But then, isn't it buzz on? I suppose it's Linda Tina. We got our car, guys. We just got home now. Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh -uh. We just got home, guys. We got our car. Wow, wow, wow. God is so good. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay. Hey guys. So we're going to be sharing our car buying experience in the Netherlands. And um, we just thought it would be fitting for us to actually share how we actually managed to buy a car and everything that we went through. Um, especially being that it is our first car that we bought um, in Europe, um, obviously in a foreign country. So um, we just thought maybe there are people who might wonder, you know, Guti, um, how does the car buying process go? Is it the same as in South Africa? Is it different? Are there differences and all of that? We're going to be sharing our story. Guti Ikalele P and how we got about to this point, right? So, is to say to Sikala when we got to the Netherlands, right? I got to Alpa, um, okay, well, my partner got here first, and then I'm not. Now, I didn't have a car when I got here, and we were basically using, um, we were actually, no, he was actually using a bicycle, right? Mm. Yeah was using a bicycle so um yeah basically it's a bicycle so when he got here he bought a bicycle he's gonna jump in wherever he feels um the need to if you feel like there's something i'm missing okay so what are taking a bicycle right so he was using a bicycle to travel to M7 Zini every day and then we got here a couple of months after he was he was um in the Netherlands and Ufika um, way too I didn't really need to kind of like have a bicycle or use public transport because I wasn't working yet right when telling him so um as long as you need and all of that right okay cool so um safi guy in netherlands i think for me what i remember the first traumatizing public transport experience i had with an with an in a netherlands poof was when we had to take an uber we bought in then like a bathtub to bath the child right so we bought a bathtub that we saw on um i think they call it market plants no? yeah mm -hmm. it's Look. like <laughs> it's like e Facebook marketplace and um Satangi Bafium Dana and then um we decided that we were gonna walk to the address of the lady who was selling the bathtub obviously. And I remember asking him how far it is and he said it wasn't really far. I think he said it was like fifteen minutes or something like that, if I'm puzzled. Guys, we walked Hey, <laughs> and remember, ne, um, we were not used to like certain areas, so it was even our first time walking in certain areas. Sawaka, sawaka, sawaka. Long story short, we got the bathtub from the lady, and I was like, "There's no way we're walking back, Nomdan, right?" Luckily, I think we had the the stroller, right? We were mm -hmm. traveling with the stroller. Yeah, yeah, we we're traveling with the stroller, and I was like, "Mm." -mm. We can't walk back home. We need to basically uh, Uber because at that time we didn't know any better, right? Again, the money transport, yeah, the public transport. Guys, I request the Uber. Hey, hey, Malin, it was almost like six hundred. It was something like thirty uh, euros. Thirty, thirty, thirty euros. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is around about thirty euros, which is close to. 
around about 600 rands right mm -hmm. you are so traumatized guys equally up by 600 and the distance is like maybe usuka a Maybe Usuka e ka bigger to go to Tingati Pibe, not a Bay West. Maybe Bay West is too far, right? From Kabika Park. Or was the distance the same? More or less that distance, ne? Okay. Yeah. But basically, it wasn't like a short distance, but it was also not a very long distance, right? We paid almost 600 rands or just, just above 600 rands. That was the first traumatizing experience. I was just like... I upa six hundred. I mean, I go Let alone upa three hundred. Okay, cool. Um, fast forward. Um, I got a job, right, and I started working. Um, so upon me getting a job prior to that, actually, before I got a job, we then um decided to get ourselves EOV chip cards. OV chip cards are kind of like, uh, it's a card that allows you to um, travel via public transportation. It could be your trams, your trains, um, ibasi, right? This is the train, Tram, trains and buses. Yeah. Mm. So. And you can also be able to rent out the ibasi. Oh yeah, you can actually also rent out, too. maybe the OV fits. So you can actually rent out, you can be able to rent out a bicycle using your card. So fine, we both actually got OV chip cards. And that's what I was using to travel um, to work um, during the week. So when I started working, right? And then... The place was like uh, 4.9 kilometers away from here. Yes, yeah, so the place that we went to buy the bathtub from is like 4.9 kilometers, right? From here. Yeah. Mm. So imagine, guys, low distance. Engahako. Engahako. distance. That is not like a long distance for someone to charge you 600 rand. But nevertheless, Sai Patali 600 rand. In the Netherlands. So, um, as I was saying, Benkweli Baske Sikseni. I used to take like the earliest bus. Benkweli Baske. And I remember. At that time, luckily, when I started working, it was still um, summer. So, right? So, I didn't really feel, we need a car or whatever the case may be. Because, I mean, by the time I used to come out of the house, so, um, as time went by, I think it was closer to us approaching e e autumn. Then, basically, <clears throat> I think the point where we started considering to buy a car was when right it started raining um for those of you who have watched my previous video there is a video that i shared a vlog that i did um i'm gonna link the vlog in the description box or i'll put a picture here it is the vlog that i shared regarding um us setting up my partner's bicycle with the child's seat or something like that. And that's how basically they used to travel um, to daycare and work. Um, my partner used to put him on the seat and then they would travel to work. Then he'd drop the baby off first and then he'd go to work. Because luckily they work in the same town or village or whatever it's called. Village, village yeah. So um, they would travel like that. We are Muslims in a setting care, right? Then Now try and imagine being on a bicycle with a child and it's raining and obviously we couldn't really get one of those bicycles. I don't know guys, okay. Up in Netherlands, guys, it means it doesn't go in, right? One of the things, um, one of the bicycles that you can get if you have children are these nice, cute, maybe I'll find a picture and put it up somewhere here. Kona is a bicycle where you can actually put your child inside and then yakozum cover with this plastic cover, whatever. So um we couldn't get that. I don't know, we never really considered getting it because we didn't think we might need it, right? Then quite yeah, it's also expensive. Yeah, it's very expensive. <laughs> I think it's 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 like almost like buying a car. It's like uh 
If you had seen rent, it's like almost 35,000 rand. Exactly. Imagine 35,000 rand to just buy this. I'm going to put a picture here so, so that you guys can see what we're talking about. So, um, long story short, it started raining and I remember she, my partner um, used to cover our son with a blanket or something when it's raining, when they're cycling to or back. What, when do you think was the turning point, the point where we were like, we really, really need a car? Because I feel like there were like a lot of events that happened, but I can't really recall all of them. But I think there was a day where we were like, we really need to look into this. And then we started the process. I think also with the approach of when of uh, season change. Uh, fall, e yeah. e autumn as they call it up. Mm. Also with the with the rains. Yeah. yeah. They so also played their part. Yeah. Their part, yeah. yeah. So I think it started raining a lot, and um, I think for me personally, okay, let me tell you guys. So before I got a bicycle. I would have to walk to the bus stop, which is like 900 meters. Not 900 meters, why am I lying? Yeah, it's almost like 900 meters when I checked last time. I'm not sure. Mm, round about so there. It's like walking like mm. 8 to 15 minutes. To 15 minutes, depending on how fast you walk. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'd have to walk to the bus stop and then the Kweli bus in Klise Etelberg. Then I catch another bus at Tilburg, and then La Bus and Zayquela is on Lisa at a bus stop that is almost also 900 meters away from my workplace. Then I'd have to walk again, right? Same story, Nagan Buya. I have to walk to the bus stop, take the first bus, get to Tilburg, take the second bus, and then walk, um, the second bus stop, and then walk again. Same story, even if I take a train, I'd have to walk to the train station, catch the train is on Lisa station. And then um, take a bus, walk to work from there. Same story, basically. So basically, I used to take four buses a day. And I think my traveling time, when I calculated, was almost two hours. Right? Yeah. Mm, two hours, right? Yeah. In a day. Mm. Yeah. Locked. Locked. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, um, I think that's that. that was when I started feeling it. Because... Slowly but surely, and it was raining. I think more than anything, it was the rain, guys. It was the rain. I would literally, and the walk to a stop, and then also when I get to the other bus stop where um, the bus drops me off, where I have to walk to work, from there to walk when I'm walking to work. So for me, that was the turning point. And I think more than anything, if I'm not lying, it was our consideration for the child mm. because we were more worried about him. I think if ever it was just us, until maybe things get more better or maybe just save up more money to buy maybe like a proper, proper car or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, the baby woke up. So we're just trying to sort him out. Anyways, um, as I was still saying, Uguti, um, for me, um, that was um the challenging part. That was the challenging part for me on my side. Um, it was the fact that I was spending a lot of time on the road, and and also the fact that I was doing a lot of walking, like too much walking for my own liking. And also, obviously, being affected by the weather conditions um, through that walking and all of that. But the turning point was when it started raining a lot. And then we were like, okay, we really, really need to get um, a car. Um, but for those of you who've been following me on Instagram, you know, I've, I shared my journey a lot and the struggles that I went through. And I think also another thing that I should mention is that we started getting sick a lot, mm -hmm. if you remember. I don't know if it was us moving to a new country, not a new country, but a different country. Um, but we started getting sick. And I think for me personally, also it was because that makes sense. So we were 
like having a flu a lot and get on the in the because my son would have flu and he'd still have to go onto the bicycle and my partner would have to cycle to work and take him to school so um we were like we really really need to look into it um and that's when the process started ne? of us um planning to get a car mm. so um he's the expert um in mm. everything <laughs> is the expert in everything that has to do with the car so i'm gonna speak but i'm gonna allow him to also share in detail because i have a tendency now of summarizes yeah up so maybe i'll miss a few things and um he'll be able to assist me in just clarifying a few things so if i remember clearly we started um <laughs> we didn't have imali equilayer to buy a car to be honest when we started right so our first option just like anyone is to look for the financing from the banks and we were ambitious no man you know um we didn't think that would have to go through any hurdles um because we were both working um so we didn't think there might be you know any form of rejection or we might experience any problems because to be honest, I'm not saying that you can just walk into a bank and get a car in South Africa, but getting a car in South Africa is not very hard, especially if you are working and you can prove that you have a solid and um, constant income, right? So, like you apply, ne? apply ne? No, I'm lying. We started approaching the. We started approaching the e. What do you call them? E. Is is car business dealers. car dealers? The dealerships. We started approaching car dealerships. Um, like whenever we'd see a car that we find it, like we're interested in, um, we would like maybe send them an email, um, and just let them know that we're interested in the car, whatever. Hey, Sana. It was rejection after rejection after rejection, ne? Eh? At mm. first, they were not telling us what was the real reason. Well, they never told us. <laughs> 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 <Just> today. <laughs> Guys, you, I remember there was a time because how can everyone just keep on rejecting us? Like, what are we not like doing properly? Or, but basically, we would not get responses from some from the majority of them. Um, some of them tried to go as far as applying at the banks. Ne? Mm. That's how we found out Uguti. Um, I think I and Clay said we haven't been here for a long time or whatever. We kind of like don't have a is it credit record? Ah. Yes. Well, I and hey, they don't they don't loan money or anything like that to people who have not been. Customers with them for oh, yes. over three months. Over three months, yeah. So we're not yeah. customers for ANG, mm. which is ANG is a bank in the Netherlands. Mm. Yeah, so mm. we're not customers for ANG mm. for three months. Yes, so that's that's assistance from them. Mm. Yeah. Mm. We, we also went through. Uh, I think it's. Baiko or something like that? Yeah. Bai, Baiko or something? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, they they didn't assist us uh, because we were not working for a long time as well. Mm. And yeah, we went through a lot of them as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, basically that's what happened, guys. So we bank with ING, for those of you who don't know. ING is one of the banks in the Netherlands. And um, we approached... We didn't approach them. I think one of the dealerships tried to apply for financing for us through ING. And unfortunately, they told the Suguti um, they don't lend money to people who have not been banking with them um, for a year. Ne? Three months. For three months. Yeah. Mm. So, and I think at that time, now my bank was, I just opened the bank account and I think it was only like Inyanga, ne? Mm. Mm. And I think my partner had, or he was previously using all bank. Yeah. Mm. There's another bank called Bank. Um, he was using Bank, and then he changed to ING, also influenced by yours truly. 
<laughs> so um, he changed, and then because of that, also he hadn't been banking with them for too long. So mm. So that's how we got rejected. Um, I remember also, I think one of the reasons why we also got rejected, I think there was someone who once told us that one of the reasons was because um, I hadn't been working for more than a year or something. Yeah. Or oh, we, 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 we haven't worked for more than a year. Or oh, is it me? Or oh, something like that. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it was you. Mm. You haven't been working for over a year. Over a year. So that was the other reason um, why we got rejected. So long story short, guys, we were getting rejected. We were receiving rejections left, right, and center. If it was not a rejection, it was utter silence. Come on, like Abanya Batembi, someone but okay, there's movement and you you're getting your hopes high and then go to you know. And it was at that point for me personally that I missed my life in South Africa. <laughs> I don't wanna lie, guys. I'm not saying that we had the best life in South Africa or basically said, but to be honest, we were we like we had a fairly like we had a fairly good, good life, ne? if I would put it like that. Because we both had cars mm. and we had our own place. So I think for me personally, I started thinking about, yo, even though I'm not going to be and those who, watch, who have watched my videos know, I'm not going to be But um, I think for me personally, it was at that point where I'm start, I started doubting what was this really a good idea because... If si so kolufumana imoto, what more other big things that we're gonna wanna buy, you know? Yes, Nini. So um it was at that point for me personally in that come yo, I really, really, really miss um my life back in South Africa. Um and I don't wanna lie, at some point I did feel like okay, maybe is it because of who we are, where we come from, that you know we're not getting the right assistance or maybe we're not being assisted. You know, you start thinking about all these other things. Come on. But for me personally, that was um that was how the whole experience made me feel. You're good to say return. Then fast forward, um we, once we actually realized that Indoya financing is not gonna work, the next option was for us to save money, right? Yeah. But now the problem that we had was that if we have to save money, because of Funeka Imoto Sitenge, like later on, and we actually needed it because our other concern was that we were going into autumn, which is also gonna eventually go into Iwinda. So it's getting colder as the weeks go by. Yeah, so um, we decided that we were just gonna simi and just have like tight budgets and just save money so that we can be able to buy a car cash. 